Hello everyone, Model Deer Farmer here, and today we are going to be doing a review on a whole set of things. This is one whole set that comes together. It is a haying set. So in the haying set here, you get a T6 tractor, you get a New Holland baler, New Holland hay rake, um, New Holland um, mower conditioner, New Holland skid steer, and a bale. So this was um, the New Holland 125th anniversary set. Um, it also, I'm pretty sure, served as the 2020 farm show. Um, I'm pretty sure it served as that that year, too, because there was not anything else um, farm show-wise um, that year. So, yeah, we're going to kind of take a look at this today. Now, a little bit of information on it. It comes in a box, just like a normal rectangle cardboard box with the window on one side of it. Two sides of it, I guess. Um, I picked this set up um, for about $20 on a Black Friday sale, but I have been looking at them right now and pretty much depending on where you're gonna buy them from you can find them anywhere from 50 to 80 dollars um so that's kind of your range that you're gonna be finding them in keep in mind that you are getting pretty much five different um things in this set so it is a little bit a little bit more expensive um but it's it's a really nice set as well so, I guess we will kind of just start off here taking a look at the tractor. So, we'll take the baler off there. So, this is the New Holland T6 180. Um, it is a Maserati blue tractor. So, it's a special, special blue that they, um, you can order. Um, when you special order a tractor, you can get this. It does cost a little bit more, um, but it is a very nice looking tractor. And with the Maserati blue, so you can kind of see it's a little bit darker, shinier blue there. Also with the Maserati blue, you get the gray, silver um, vents all along there. It also, so taking a look at the tractor here. And on the Maserati Blue, you do just get the gray decal. You don't get the yellow striping or anything that you would on any other tractor. So, if we look here, you got your three little vents painted on right there. Your decal right there. You also have a decal right up there for dynamic command. I'm um, not quite sure what that is, but you do have the added detail of that decal right there. Um, like I said before, you have the silver vents, you got your lights right there painted on, um, a little New Holland logo sticker there on the front of the hood. You can see that this is a two body have, um, piece of die cast for the hood there. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate that there's a line coming through there, but it's not a huge deal. We do have the interesting looking weight bracket up here. Interesting, I say, because it is one of those ones that gets huge in the middle and is tiny on the edge. Not a fan of those, but it it is what it is. Looking over to the front tires here, this is a four-wheel drive tractor. Um, so you got the black hub in there. You got your front fenders and now if we look at this tractor from the front this of course is set up on a haying width for tires because it is coming with the haying set so you do have a little bit wider tires like you can see in the back they stick out a little bit um from the fenders so there's a look at your rear tires nothing nothing too special there you do kind of got all your fuel tank area def tank in there um, on this side you do also have your steps to get up into the cab 
And leading into the cab, a very nice looking cab in there. You do have the main seat and the buddy seat, as well as you have a painted steering wheel. So the steering wheel is painted black. Also on the other side here, you got all your right um, side commands, the buttons and switches and everything there is on that side. Now we do, looking at the glass here, we got a windshield wiper on the front um, and a windshield wiper on the back. I don't think either side has them, mostly because if you look there, there is a ladder up here, which I'm pretty sure on a lot of these smaller tractors, they have doors on each side. So this one possibly would have a door on this side. You do also have your exhaust pipe there, just kind of just kind of a normal exhaust pipe. Now, if we go back over here, we can see that there are painted silver lights along the top of the cab. Um, so nice detail there. We also have the GPS globe up top. We have a window in the top of the cab, which is very nice for, uh, I don't know. It just seems to let a little bit more light in the cab. Um, and if you do have a loader, then this this tractor is not set up for loader, but if, if you have a loader, it can be beneficial to see the loader when the loader is up in the air. You do also have the 125 years New Holland emblem on top of there. There is an emblem like that on each piece of equipment that comes with this pack. Um, so moving over to the back here, on the back of the fenders, we got your tail lights there, so got them painted on each side there now moving to our back you got your draw bar there um you got your pto shield um and you can kind of see the hydraulics it is a little bit hard to see because it is black um but they are there it's, it's just hard to see on camera you can see it fine in real life there's kind of your undercarriage of the tractor so main frame is die cast um, and kind of your steps, fuel tank, exhaust pipe is plastic. So very nice tractor. It is my first Maserati blue tractor. Um, so I really like that. Um, and it's, it's a nice looking thing. Now let's move over here to the baler. This is a roll belt 560 specialty crop baler. So, um, it is a very heavy baler, which, um, lets me know that it is made out of a lot of die cast. So you do have your hitch up here. Um, you'd have a PTO shaft there as well. Your pickup down here, which also the sides of the pickup are tie cast metal as well. Um, just the, the pickup, actual parts of the pickup are plastic as well as these little small front tires here are plastic. So that's, there's not much plastic on it. That is one spot there is plastic. Another spot there is plastic though, is the kicker on the back. Um, so you got that there. It is plastic. Um, it can move a little bit. I don't really think it's meant to do that, but it it moves a little bit if you want it to. Um, now, the one part where I think they are a little bit off on this baler is if we look at these back tires. I could be wrong, but um, on these back tires, well, you got your big black rubbers there. Um, if I'm being honest, the yellow they have in the rim there kind of looks like a John Deere, John Deere yellow, which I'm um, not sure what is quite up with that. Um, I will say that probably is one downside to this baler is it's not the little bit more orangish yellow that we're kind of used to on New Holland equipment. It is like, it is literally like John Deere yellow. Looking here at the side panel, we do have the New Holland stripe, roll belt 560 and specialty crop. That takes place on both sides of the baler. On the front here, we do have the New Holland logo and those different spots i don't have uh i don't know what they are i don't have hay stuff in real life we do not do hay on our farm so i'm not completely sure um 
maybe just kind of vents, openings, holes um, that would be in there. You do also have the 125 years emblem right there. And now moving kind of towards the back of the baler. This is our back door back here. We do have the flashers painted on, so that is a very nice feature. We do also have the New Holland logo kind of painted into there. We do have the SMV sign. And this is rubber up here as well. And we can open it up and you can see the piece of rubber along in there. And if you want to, your Ertl bale will fit in will fit into there and then so you can open it up and let your bale out so full functionality there um so very nice baler it is very heavy um I, like i said the one downside um is what looks to be john deere yellow rims on the baler um that is that is kind of the one downside now moving on um, this is definitely an older piece that they decided to remake and add into this set. This is the, pretty much a f hay rake from the 1980s, 1990s. I'm not quite sure when Ertl made it, but sometime in there. Um, it definitely isn't the widest, um, but it does get the job done. So it is kind of, it is that older older styling um, that Ertl had made in the past. But you do have the 125 years emblem on there. So you do have the plastic um, parts here that turn as you go through that'll rake the hay up and put the hay into a line over over there. Um, so yeah, you also have coming back here, you got plastic tires on it. Um, so they're still the old plastic tires that they had back in the day. So, a very nice little hay rake to add to this set. Um, and it's it's definitely something that's been around for a while, but still looks good. And I'm glad they added something like that to this set. Now moving on to probably one of my favorite things of the whole entire set. This is going to be the New Holland Discbine 210. And... The reason I say that this is my favorite out of the whole set is pretty much because of the fact that it has rubber tires. Now, the rubber tires on this thing, any other older um, mower conditioner, wind rower, pull type wind rower that I had, always has had plastic tires, and so it just spins around when you try pulling it and kind of just drags it. This, with the plastic tires, you can turn and, or with the rubber tires, I mean, you can turn and they will stay on the ground. So it actually works how it would in real life, which is really nice. So you do, of course, have the tongue here. The only bad thing is that it doesn't fold into how it would in real life. It is stuck in the operated position, um, but it, it still looks nice. You do also have your PTO shaft here um, going from the hitch over to the main mower conditioner part. You have this area here where inside is all the stuff that cuts the hay. So you do have the 125 emblem. Um, you have the New Holland Disc Bind 210 sticker on there as well. Lots of detail on the exterior of this mower. But you do have that sticker along there. You got Disc Bind right, right there. You got a lot going on back here. You got SMV sign, New Holland. Um, you can see where the hydraulics would be to lift it up. Um, and then the hay would come out the back here. Now underneath, we do have that detail right there, along with the spinning part right there. I don't know the official names but of everything, but... I do know that it is a very nice looking disc bind and it's got to be probably my favorite thing on this entire set. Now, we'll just look at the bale quick. It's your Ertl standard plastic green hay bale, so that's all we really need to look at there. Now, our last piece of this set 
is the New Holland Skid Steer. Now, there isn't a model number on this anywhere, nor I don't think they make blue ones in real life. Um, so this, I think, is just a special edition one. Like, you got the emblem up there. Now, the downside to these 164th scale skid steers is that with there so, being so many moving parts, there's so many big rivets everywhere, and the rivets really don't look good. I mean, I know they got to be there for functionality, but it just takes away from this piece and honestly doesn't look very good. I still do like that they included a skid steer in this set to kind of move your hay around. It does go up plenty high, and the bucket tilts as well. So you do have that there. You do have the New Holland logo on each side there. The back grill here, you got a sticker on there that says New Holland along with your tail lights and everything. You have your construction style tires with the gray rims. And then you got New Holland on there along with a detailed interior inside here you can't see it real well but there is a seat in there um so it is a nice it is a nice looking skid steer besides the fact that there are rivets everywhere i think now they are kind of getting it under control getting some smaller rivets um like on that bobcat one i reviewed um they're they're i think they're getting it kind of kind of figured out but that always was the main downside to these 164th scale skid steers is there were so many rivets all over and it just it doesn't quite look the best but it is what it is um if if you want the functionality of it moving um you're gonna have to have a little bit of a sacrifice there but uh, that's pretty much the full rundown on this whole set here. Um, it, it's a pretty cool set. Um, I do like all the different hang stuff. Like I said, I really like that mower conditioner. Um, and just the whole set as a whole has some very nice pieces along with it, including the Maserati Blue Tractor and the Hay Rig and the Special Blue Skid Steer and the Baylor. Everything looks great in this set. Um... So yeah, if if you're into New Holland hay stuff or just hay stuff in general, I'd say this is something you want to consider picking up. Um, like I said, fifty eight to eighty bucks. Um, I'd probably try try finding something on the lower end of that. Um, like on the fifty range. I mean, it depends what third party um place you look at. Um, I don't really think that your New Holland dealers are gonna have this anymore. Um, because it is two years old pretty much um and was a limited edition thing um but so try if you want to try finding it on different third party sites um i know i the cheapest one i think i found was dalton's farm toys um they're a pretty good place to get something from um so that's pretty much where i found it the cheapest looking at it tonight and that's actually where i uh, got it from back on a black friday sale but everyone that is going to be it for this review i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure and hit that like button and also make sure you're subscribed as 93 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when i post new videos such as this one we are trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of february we're at a, about 145 right now so we still need 55 more to go. So let's try to get there. By the end of February, we got, what, a week and a half about left of February. Let's let's try and get there, guys. Um, also, if you have any comments or questions or have any ideas on what we should review next on the channel, you can leave that down in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this review. And this is Model Deer Farmer, out.